What's up YouTube for tonight? I have Blaine's full team theme. Okay, uh, we got 3,000 likes on our last video, so um, actually this one took a little bit longer than usual, so I'm sorry about the wait. Uh, just the team was uh, very hyper offensive, uh, which made for rather quick, w rather quick wins or losers. So. Um, this was probably the best battle that I had with this team, and it was, you know, it's pretty enjoyable too. I got them. I, I feel I got the most out of this team and got to use uh, all of the moves and, I guess, somewhat strategy uh, on this team. So there were some very interesting sets here. Um, only one item I couldn't get there was the Dragon Gem on Charizard. If you'd like me to keep doing this series, make sure you hit that like button now. Uh, I think we're actually up to after if I we do the, the next one, um, that'll be the last gym later. If you'd like me to do the Elite Four and stuff, or further gens, just let me know in the comment section. I can keep continuing uh, to do this little series if you want. Um, also, I just want to let you know, um, I am going to be, uh, after obviously after I finish this, uh, next the next gym later or so, I'm going to be doing a couple of the uh, theme teams that are one, so just a little bit of a, a break from this, then I'll go straight back on to this if you guys would like me to. Okay, so we had a uh, Frost last lead here. Anyway, I'm expecting a uh, like a Destiny Bond uh, after that Focus Ashes. Just it always happens, and I I, I definitely know better than that. So this uh, set actually did have Yawn, if you noticed at the start. So I thought that'd be good. At least I could get the uh, Frost Lads to swap out of here. Unfortunately, I didn't really have anything like. You know, toxic or will o wisp or anything like that so that was the best thing that I could possibly do at that time I just went for superpower on the swap because I knew they'd obviously swap and if they didn't they'd go to sleep so you know that was quite good um, this was a extremely bulky Flareon um, I didn't put anything in attack at all which is you know that was pretty good against uh, Blastoise here now the problem with this Mega Blastoise is I had nothing to check this because my entire team was fire <laughs> so yeah this was pretty rough um, Blastoise is going to obviously go there for uh, Water Pulse there and I freaking tanked that with 23 health so that was a max special defense max health set that was the reason I actually live that I actually got flail and set if you noticed before so I thought that would be you know, the best thing that I could possibly do there unfortunately um, doing that superpower at the start actually sort of uh, you know, lowered the amount of damage my flower did, but I was pre still pretty happy with that. Um, like I said, I couldn't swap anything into it because everything was super effective. Anyways, uh, so that's uh, that one down. Now, I got Rapidash here. Um, it does have Wild Charge on the set, so that was what I was aiming for, and Blastoise, you're definitely not going to live that one. Um, so I was very happy to get that out of the way. That was good. Uh, that was one of the worries uh, of this team. Now, um, what I was thinking of doing here was... I, I, I thought Destiny Bond would come, so I went for Hypno Hypnosis and they Shadow Balls. So I'm like, oh, damn it. Um, I still live, though, which is pretty good. And Hypnosis hit, so um, Hypnosis, is a, you, know, you wouldn't really think Rapidash has Hypnosis, but it, it does. <laughs> I'm not sure how it puts you to sleep. Right, if, anyways, um, I decided here just to go for Mega Horn and uh, Haxorus comes in. So I thought, well, that's pretty good because uh, I could have easily gone for like a Flare Blitz there, so. Uh, I thought that was probably what they were, um, their trainer thought was there. So Mega Horn does some fair damage to Hackross, that's pretty good. I hit the second one too, which was really nice. So after two Mega Horns, that nearly quite takes it out there, so that's good. Um, Hackross is going to Earthquake me. I've actually got the Shukaberry, but that's obviously not going to do anything. Even, I'd say, even if I was at full health, I probably wouldn't even live that. Um, it might have been very close, but... Yeah, I'm definitely not going to leave that on 40 health. So that's Rapidash down, but Rapidash, you did really nice there. Okay, so I've got Arcanine here. It's got uh, Intimidate. Uh, obviously, I'm going to outspeed this thing anyway. Uh, I thought, well, what should I do here? So go for Extreme Speed or just go for Close Combat. I decided to go for Close Combat just in case it, you know, the Hacktress is running a little bit more uh, in bulk. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, they're going to swap out and that's going to be res resisted there uh, by Draelgi. So... Um, what was I thinking here? Um, I couldn't really do much to this thing. Like, none of my moves are really going to be very good against it, so I have to swap it out and save it for later, I guess. Now I thought, well, I've got my Charizard, and here's a perfect time to actually go for that Home Claws Dragon, uh, Dragon Rush set. Um, it's going to actually set up the Toxic Spikes there, so, you know, it could be, like, just a phasing set with Dragon Tail. I wasn't really sure, but that's, you know, generally what they have uh, with that move. So I'm going to go for Home Claws here, regardless. Um, uh, just boosting my attack and uh, accuracy uh, one stage there. 
I was half expecting a dragon tail, but that, you know, they uh, sludge bombed and said, I get poisoned, which sucks because uh, now I know that you know, probably even after my attack, I'm definitely going to go down uh, to this one. Uh, so with the home claws boost now, I'm confident that I'll be able to land my dragon rush, which is good. I actually used this set on my uh, Gabite that, uh, yeah. that I use in NF NFV. Uh, anyway, or NU, whatever it is now. I just missed that freaking KO. That was really, really important there. So um, Charizard is going to go down. Now Charizard had the most whack set ever. Um, I didn't have, also I didn't have any attack EVs in that at all. Uh, the other moves were Inferno and Focus Blast. So uh, I think Inferno actually had a 50% chance of hitting uh, with 100 race power. And I think it always burns. And it's not a move you see very often. And Focus, you know, Focus Miss would probably miss anyway. Uh, so that was, you know, Inferno couldn't do anything. Focus Miss couldn't do anything, so my really only option was a super effective move, uh, which didn't care. Anyways, uh, Frost is going to come in expecting my extreme speed, so uh, very nice there. Um, I, I just decided to stay in because, you know, whether they're going to wake up or not was uh, wasn't really sure, but I had to swap, I had to take it out eventually anyway. Okay, so they don't wake up, which is good because I said a Shadow Ball or a Destiny Bond would have been definitely coming my way there. I'd say probably a Destiny Bond. I, I say I would have tanked a Shadow Ball there. Anyway, so that annoying thing's down. I'm I'm happy about that. Right, so uh, I've got that annoying poison still. Now, out comes a Hitmonchan. And I'm thinking, well, I can probably just go for Flare Blitz here. I know it may go for Mac Punch, but I could live it quite badly. Uh, so I decided to go for Flare Blitz. If they're going to send in the Shaman, so obvious, obvious, obvious sacrifice is obvious. Got tongue twister there. Uh, that's just going to get demolished there. But really, Shaman really had no use against me because my whole team was fire type. Uh, that really uh, rips my health apart there. But I guess it's another Pokemon down. They can't use it for a fodder anymore, so that's okay. Uh, I get my Lichy Berry there, but um, unfortunately, that's uh, going to be pretty short lived on six health. Uh, so. This comes out again. I'm just going to extreme speed and get rid of it because uh, that's the best thing I can do. And with that leechy, doesn't even without that leechy, we would have taken it out anyway. So that's good. Now, um, the the Pokemon that I was a little bit worried about was Hitmonchan because I know that it's got priority Mac Punch, and the Pokemon that I got remaining aren't the most bulkiest Pokemon in the world. Anyway, so I got my Nine Tails here. Um, the best move I had on this to hit Hitmonchan with uh, was Heatwave. Now, I know Hitmonchan's got some nice special defense for you know, a, a physical sweeper. Um, you know, they've all got pretty nice special defense. So, Heatwave hits, which is good. It, it, it doesn't even do over half health, which sucks. Um, Drain Punch is absolutely going to obliterate my Nine Tails and get all of his health back. I was like, oh, man. It's, yeah, it's it's one of these days. So I can see that that's actually, uh, and that's a life orb as well. Now, so the last poke that I've got is my Magmortar. I've actually got Psychic on this set. Um, once again, I wasn't sure whether it would take it out because, you know, obviously it's not Stab and I've got Patea Berry instead of like, you know, a possible Specs or Life Orb or something like that. So I just Psychic anyway, hoping for the best. And what do you know? It freaking just lives bugger. That sucks. And now, obviously, I know that it's going to Mac Punch me and outspeed me, but man, this was... A, I had a, a really another really close battle. I actually, I get Flame Body there, which is quite funny. Um, here, my chance is going to go down to Life Orb, and there's that Hackerus with just a little bit of health left, I think. That's all they had. So it was a really, really tight battle at the end there. Um, yeah, I've, I've had some really tight ones where I've, you know, I've just marginally lost, but you know, I, I don't really care. The, the battles are fun, and I'm, uh, you know... I'm happy to uh, do them. They're, they're fun. Now, um, what else do I need to say? There's not much I actually need to do. So the last gym leader um, is obviously Giovanni. Now, if you want me to do his team, uh, if you want me to get straight away onto that, hit that like button below. Uh, if you'd also like me to do the Elite Four and stuff, uh, leave a comment below uh, and stuff like that. Uh, give me... Give me some ideas, what? because obviously they don't all have six Pokemon, so if you can think of anything, maybe just let me know. Um, also, if you've never seen any of these Gym Leader battles before, or you, you know, want to catch up and watch the other ones, watch this playlist after, just have to click on the little link there. Peace out, guys.